Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. I am recording this, uh, I think a day or two after the last video, because I am having a blast. I really enjoy this game. <clears throat> and we are just going to go straight to this architect artifact we found last time. Or uh, that we got pinged for us last time. After a conversation with Alan, which is the architect in our brain that we are sharing our headspace with. Uh, I don't know if we've seen this stuff before, so I'm gonna pop out and take a look. Oh, we have, we have. What is this floating thing here? Is that pointing that way for some specific reason? Uh, I don't know. But apparently we've been here before. I don't know what that is. Okay then. Oh, Pathfinder tool. Okay. That makes sense. Then, if that's what that is. Uh, it's really dark because it is probably night. It'll get light soon. I don't know if we can actually maneuver the sea truck down here, but I'm going to try it. Just because I don't like... Uh, I don't like swimming around when I have a vehicle. Uh, at least I want to try and get it as close to the cave entrance and whatnot as possible. Looks like it's probably down here somewhere. That's a crash fish on the right there. We're just going to ignore that. And yeah, I did. This is the uh, cave I found a bunch of gold in last time. It had a bunch of those gold things on the walls. This might uh, uh, might even be the same cave. I'm not sure. But if we come down here, purple glows from the oxygen plant. Uh, oh, okay. More sea monkeys. Oh shit, okay. What you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. Wow, that was helpful. Sea monkey egg, yoink. I do believe we need one more of these, so that'll unlock us the laser cutter. I'm not sure what we're going to be using that for. Uh, we can actually use the map from this to help us find a way out. Because everything in here looks quite similar. Uh... I'm just kind of like heading upwards. Is this the way out? Oh, we popped up 150 meters away. Holy shit. <laughs> Didn't think that I had gone that far. It's a big freaking cave, I guess. Uh, we didn't get anything from that other than like story, did we? I don't think so. Yeah, no, we didn't unlock anything. Where? Sea truck where? Okay. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, we got another one. How do your people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is Whoa. very quiet. Wh what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings 
each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. That's kind of sad. Uh, we're coming up on a new biome here. I'm hearing a lot of... Ooh. Mm, that makes me very nervous. I don't know what that is, and I don't want to find out the hard way, because that will definitely eat us. <laughs> I suppose we've discovered our first leviathan. Oh my goodness, it is eating those other fish. Like these, that's why I said whoa, is because this guy looks really cool. I want to get away from that thing. Okay, I want to scan this because it might be, yeah, sleeper module. We can change it from night to day, I assume. We can build a bed in there. Okay, this is, I did not uh, expect this to go straight to the sketch zone. Warning, maximum death I am not... Sea truck docking module. Uh, might be for like docking prawn suit or something on the sea truck. I am quite nervous with that big scary leviathan up there. Don't know where it is, just that it is behind me. And I don't know what these are, but they look very cool. Probably aggressive. As I can hear it, like, snapping behind me. Trying to come after me. And another new biome here. Uh, we got some floating rocks and things. Uh, this makes me quite nervous, honestly, going through these new biomes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, there's some, like, uh, architect stuff here. That guy didn't follow us out of that biome, did he? I don't think he will. I hope not, anyways. Uh, there's a thing I want to scan down there, but that fish is kind of weirding me out a little bit. I think it started heading straight for us as soon as we hopped out there. Aquarium module. Or at least it looked like it had. What the fuck is that? I think that's actually a friendly leviathan. It's like a sea whale. It's like the sea whale. Oh shit, uh, apparently I was uh, below crush depth there. We almost lost the sea truck. Warning. Maximum it's kind of hard in this place to get like a... Uh, I don't know, the orientation is kind of weird. So I am having like a hard time of telling which way is up and which way is down. That's why I keep going below the crush depth. Uh, I just, I'm just like sitting around. I want to see what this guy does because he is a little close. Mm, he does not have a friendly looking mouth. That might be a weird sentence, but uh, that's that. I feel like we're going to need a hull upgrade for the sea truck here before we can explore this area. Uh, yeah, with it's it's like right below us. I'm like, oh no, it's like over there. Frick, I went right by it. You're like, I don't think these guys are aggressive, but I don't know about those. I don't like its mouth. <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. All right, well, we're gonna have to get out. Oh, I don't like the screaming noises. What is that? Oh my goodness, it was coming, it was definitely coming after us, yep. 
That was sketchy. Holy sea monkey, hi. So I'm assuming that whatever we're looking for is going to be down here somewhere. Exosuit thermal reactor module. So we do get a prawn suit. That's good to know. Uh, I think I'm going to... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scan all the stuff. I did see some like sea truck modules that I could scan around here. And then I'm going to head back and try and make the uh, depth module, because I know we have it unlocked. I'm going to make a repair tool. I did not mean to do that. That is not the inventory button. And then I'm going to make a repair tool, because it got bump, uh, bumped up a little. Yeah, we have the repair tool. Uh, we don't have any of these unlocked. But yeah, sea truck depth upgrade mark one. I just need a diamond, I think. I know I have one, but I think I need one more. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna scan these things. Like, there's one over there. And I th thought I saw another one somewhere. And then I'm gonna head back. And then, and then we can come back here. Okay, sounds good. Okay. I will see you on the ride back. So, I've been floundering around for about half an hour looking for diamonds which I need for uh, uh, to make the depth upgrade for the sea truck and I eventually gave up and looked on the wiki and it said it could be found in the deep twisty bridges biome or they could be found in the deep twisty bridges biome which is this right here and it did say that there was dangerous fauna down here it's just more brute sharks. I think that's what that is. No, that's the weird mouth thing we saw earlier. Okay, well, we found one diamond. I only needed one. I'm just going to get the hell out of here before we die. I just wanted to show you guys this cool little biome here. Uh, maybe we'll see if we can find any more diamonds. Oh, there's one more. Because I actually did find enough. Oh, there's two more. I did find enough uh, fragments to make a... Um, module for the sea truck. Now, it's just the, uh, it's nothing f super fancy. It's just the aquarium. But I think it would be cool to attach something to our sea truck. But, yeah, I just want to show you guys that I don't like exploring new biomes off camera. I think it's not fair to the people watching. And if you're wondering what that, uh, thing is there, I went back to the island, uh, because I remembered seeing some diamonds there but you can't get to them without uh further tech that we don't have so yeah i'm gonna go make this stuff and then i will bring you back once we are back over towards the pilot's last known nah, hmm last known location there we go all right so i thought i'd just bring you back so that you can watch me attach this because i would like to show you how it works and I'm not quite sure how it works myself. I'm going to assume that we just go over here and uh, yeah, just kind of like push it towards the sea uh, truck here. That's my assumption anyways. And then I'll just auto attach itself. Yep, there we go. So now if we hop into the sea truck we actually go like inside of it and we can put uh, fish and stuff in here now we can hatch creature eggs uh, small ones I guess but yeah I'm gonna go head back over to the uh, area we were in before over there and I will bring you guys back uh, we made it back to that biome we were in before where the signal was coming from we did not encounter the leviathan this time which I am thankful for. And I haven't been showing you guys a lot of the scans and stuff, but I have, or I managed to scan one of those guys, and it is called a Cryptosuchus, or Cryptosuchus. Uh, 
Yeah, so it's aggressive, but not like hyper aggressive, which is good to know for us. So as you can see at the top there, our new max depth is 300 meters as opposed to 150, so it doubled it. So now we can go in here in the sea truck without any worries. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be looking for down here. This lady's home base or something. Or maybe more architect stuff. Hang on, it looks like there's some uh, sea monkey stuff down there. And it uh, actually looks like we kind of pick up these fish as we go by them. And I can't actually put eggs in here, which is a little disappointing, but it is what it is. Uh, what is this? Can we not? Bronze suit grapple arm. Oh, that is good. That is a good thing to get. This actually looks really cool from the outside. Uh, we're not really in a cave, but we're kind of in a cave. Um, this is kind of anticlimactic. I thought we'd uh, get like another radio signal or something when we got here last time, but we didn't get anything. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure we're looking for here unless this was just a redundant thing to get you to explore yeah the floating rocks thanks you came within range oh, of data shit. that might help with the construction of a new storage unit you must continue to investigate Okay, Alan says we have new stuff. Uh, did he give us a signal? Uh, that's the one we already went to. Uh, he did not give us a new signal yet, but I assume we're going to get one. Warning. And this goes Maximum deep. Holy. Hull damage imminent. Okay, yeah, no, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing over here. Because we're exploring, but we're not really finding anything. We did get a message from Alan, which means we're somewhere in the right direction. Uh, looks like there's a current here. We're not being pulled by it, but that is a cool effect. Like a visual effect, at least. Uh, these things, I believe, aren't hostile. I keep saying that but I really don't feel like checking because of the other things that could be around. There's a few of them around. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do about this. It's just trying to get us to look around here. I suppose there is some architect stuff that maybe we could follow. Maybe this is what we're supposed to be doing, is following this. It does look like it goes up to an island here. This could be interesting. Those are definitely hostile. Uh, we had one chase us before. Looks like it goes up into this big rock here. Which could be an island. Oh, this is the uh, floating lily pads biome, I believe. Yeah, these giant floating lily pad things. That made me jump. <laughs> oh yeah, they're uh, being held up by the giant lily pads. That's cool. I just want to... I kind of want to just come up here and see if there's anything up here. I doubt there is. Let's just pop out a sea truck here. Yeah, this looks really cool up here. Oh, can we, oh, we can scan it from here. Oh, dude, you can see the giant whale dudes, like, jumping out of the water. That is a very cool detail. I like that. It's glitching out a little bit with the water physics. That's fine. 
I'll forgive it. Uh, something. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Is this what we're looking for? Perhaps. Looks intact, honestly. Uh, no, it doesn't. Never mind. But this is something. Have we scanned one of these big rooms yet? Probably. Doors wide open. New tech here. Swim charge. Those are good. I like swim charge. That's a type of fins. Oh, this is Omega Lab. Okay. Interesting. Funky looking plant thing. Water filtration machine is really good to have. Really long ass scan here. Uh, what is that? Control room. I'm going to pull the sea truck around to the front here. So that's not so far away when we need to breathe. Uh, looks like there could be more stuff down there, too, once we're finished exploring this place. Alrighty. Could be more stuff that way, too. There's lights. I think we'll go that way first. And then after we're finished exploring this, I'll probably end off the episode. Not sure how long or how much footage I have, but I've been recording for over an hour. So, I don't know. Danielle something or other. Aromatherapy lamp. <laughs> Very comforting. Didn't we already scan vending machine? Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Vin Pam. Single bed. Anything else in here? Oh, there's a PDA. It's art. Whoa. Shit happened in there. Oh, we didn't even... For some reason, I was thinking that it was going to be instant, the uh, oxygen. But that was not the case. We should keep this out and go right in here. This place looks awful. Enzyme and mutation study. Nuclear reactor fragment. Damn. Getting a lot of good shit in here. Power cell charger. That is really good. Feels like they're giving us a lot of blueprints, but we still don't have the... The uh, construct tool. The habitat builder, I think what it's called actually yeah we still don't have the habitat builder so like i don't know what we're supposed to be doing with all this junk maybe we just missed it somewhere i'll have to look it up oh message from alan here the laboratory appeared to have been sabotaged intentionally do you know what it would have been used for look like maybe bacteriology that's what the equipment was for anyway before a fire tornado ran through it or something do you think your sister had something to do with the destruction? I don't know why she would, but the more I see on this planet, the less I know what to think. Who would want to destroy it? Okay, looks like this does not lead anywhere. It's just trying to get you to go in here where this lab is. And I don't think this is what we were supposed to find with that thing because it's two, over 200 meters away I mean I can poke around for a bit and try and find it try and find something but like give me nerves being down here <laughs> other the other Subnautica like the first one we played was uh, not too bad for me because I would played it before but this one is like an actual I hated that it's like an actual horror game for me I have like a minor 
thalassophobia, which is fear of the ocean, I believe. Unless I'm getting that completely wrong, in which case, please correct me. But, uh, yeah, I hate the ocean. <laughs> I uh, am not a huge fan of the unknown, which is what the ocean is. And this game is even worse, because it's aliens, and they're big and scary, and they eat you. So, yeah, I guess I will poke around for a bit more, and if we don't find anything, I will end off the episode. And, uh, not really sure what we'll do next time. Probably go and find the Habitat Builder, find a place to settle down. But, uh, anyways, yeah, I guess I'll poke around a bit more, and see you in a bit. Well, I didn't really find anything in there. I kept heading in, like, a straight line from, uh, I basically lined up that and that, and then, like, tried to go in a straight line following that and ended up out here now this really freaks me out because i'm not hearing any sounds there's no flora and the fauna is really sparse which reminds me of the uh dead zone from subnautica and uh you know i'm a little freaked out uh just being here there's more of these Freaky mouth motherfuckers. Uh, that, I would assume to be the inactive volcano she's talking about. Oh, hi. That made me uh, shit my pants a little. I had a feeling they were going to be able to do that due to the shape of their mouth. If we get grabbed by another one, we could be in trouble. Uh... <laughs> I sound calm, but that's because I don't like overreacting. But like, I honestly freaked the fuck out a little bit. <gasps> There's a lot of these. I hate them. I, I Now that I know that they can do that, I, I hate them. I can't tell if that's a big guy over there. Whoa. Okay, there's something here. Uh... This looks like a sh crashed, crashed ship of some sort. Okay, this will be the last thing we explore today. I'm going to uh, make sure there's no more of those around. Just a big friendly sea whale, I hope. Sea whale? Yeah, very good. Nicely done. I'm going to repair this uh, so that we don't get um, attacked by one of those face huggers again. <laughs> and then we're gonna head in here. Hopefully find some useful stuff. Battery, extremely useful. Cut open, I do not have the wire cut, or the uh, laser cutter yet. Oh, that is very helpful. Jukebox track, okay. I know you can make a jukebox. I've seen it in the uh, blueprints. Okay, metal salvage, okay. Just like the first game. Uh, let's see if we can find another opening around here. Take a look. I'll have to come back here with the uh, laser cutter, I guess. There's probably doors and stuff you gotta cut open. This looks like it's been here for a really long time. Might be actually a part of the Aurora that got flung really far. That'd be pretty ridiculous though. So I'm pretty sure that this is like, not quite the other side of the planet, but it is like really far away from where the Aurora crashed. Which was the uh, ship that crash landed in the first game, if you've forgotten. You know, I'm not seeing any of their entrances. So it might just be that one chamber there. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna mark this. Because I do have one beacon left. Well, we're just gonna call this... Uh, laser cutter one. So we know we have to come back here with the laser cutter. And I will head back. Mm, not what I meant to do. 
Okay, frick. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna head back. And I have been able to sense the location of an important artifact. I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. Got it. Okay, you said that before. Okay, we'll, we'll check that out next time. Uh, like I said, I want to just head back. Just so that I don't, like, die after the video's ended or something. And then I'll have to, like, put a clip in at the end. But, like, I just want to get back, and then I shall end the video. What happens as you are sleeping? I was being pulled from a logical world to a logical world, with you at the center of them all. I was dreaming. The brain processes in mysterious ways when we sleep. Does it serve a purpose? It was such disorienting and fragmented thought. Random images and sensations. No one is completely sure what it does. There are theories, but every human dreams. Many other mammals, too. Is it enjoyable? It can be. We can experience impossible joy, and also impossible terror in our dreams. Sometimes I can fly. Sometimes I call out to Sam and can't reach her. Sometimes I'm in my underwear, defending my doctoral thesis. It's a mixed bag. Your biofeedback indicates that flying is the most enjoyable dream. I therefore hope you have many more of those. Mainly for my own safety. <laughs> okay, so I built this Sea uh, Trek sleeper module here just to make our Sea Trek a little bit longer and so we can sleep through the night. And I got that little uh, funny and or cute, I guess, interaction. But yeah, our Sea Trek's starting to look a little bit more like a truck, a little bit less like a freaking whatever it was before but this episode's probably way longer than it needs to be i might have to cut it up but uh that will be the end of it so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like if you didn't though that's fine maybe i'm just not your cup of tea but anyways have a fantastic rest of your day i'll see you in the next one and goodbye for now